feel like Jane Goodall sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I call the funny one monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> We're not keeping score, but we are keeping track of the really good heckles for the yearbook, right? All right, welcome all to the open stage where many of you are new, and I admit it, it's freaking me out just a little bit. You guys are cool and ready to do this thing, right? Oh, good. Well, then the worries are gone because I'm, I'm about to give you a personal reveal. I'm about to tell you a little bit about the secret life of a performer. I had a fundamentally unique experience as a performer last week wherein I was surrounded by 400 Cub Scouts dressed like a rhinoceros with, with a bow and arrow being held by a friend of mine, but instead of an arrow, it was a giant flower. And I thought to myself, yeah, like you do. I thought to myself, well, this is a little different. <laughs> so we were, we were clowning for the Cub Scouts um, over, like I said, over 400 kids, part of the uh, safari themed, hence the rhinoceros, um, Twilight Camp. And it was a pretty amazing experience because I had this moment where, well, there were two moments. The first one was where at the end, they mobbed me. And I thought they didn't like me because a hundred of them, it was like a half height zombie movie, you know, where they pull the guy down. It was unbelievable. I thought it was doomed. I thought it was dead because they were all just coming for me and crawling up me and grabbing at my rhinoceros horn. It, it, was, it was horrifying. But then they all came running up to me. They gave the kids buckets. And I, and I feel like we should be issued buckets well, for a lot of reasons here at the open stage. But yeah, that's number one. But they were sitting on them during the show. They kept their lunches in them. They kept their trash in them after they ate lunch. I thought, wow, this is really brilliant. We should totally get rid of the couches and just get buckets. No, well, it'll solve the punch bowl problem is all I'm saying. There is not, everybody is enjoying the punch bowl, yes? So I'm sitting there and I'm having this moment where the kids ripped the lids off their trash cans and walked up to us with markers and had us signing our names. And instead of hating us, they loved us. And of course, I'm, I'm signing Rhino, so I'm not getting anything out of this. <laughs> rhino, here you go, Rhino, here you go, don't be right. Oh, <laughs> here you go. So we're doing this, and I realized something. Well, I've been clowning for a couple of years, but this may well, I mean, this is that magic age. They're all about 10 years old. And this may be that magic age. They haven't been inundated with Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, yada, 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 yada. Their experiences are pretty limited. This may be the first time in person they've seen a clown. And that kind of laid the responsibility on me to do a really good job, or as good a job as I could. And I had this moment where I realized I was kind of acting as an ambassador for that. I mean, I think about it, and every single person I've met that I've actually spoken to say, oh, clowns freak me out. Are there any here tonight? <laughs> you people are dimmed. <laughs> we run the joint. You're screwed. I can't, I can't help you on this one. But let me, let me ask you, did you learn that because you had a terrible experience with some bozo early on? Really? You're the. F you what? Well, that, okay, so yes, yeah, some creepy bozo. My point remains. <laughs> Stephen, if you're not enjoying what our hecklers are saying, come here and yell at them. We double dog dare you. Get on your motorcycle and drive. Okay, meanwhile. Meanwhile, back here in the real world, where things might actually happen. Um, I, had this, I had this thing happen where I suddenly realized that all the people I had met who really said they were freaked out by clowns, by performers, by anything, had had a bad experience. And I realized it was really on me not to screw up as a performer, not to screw up little kids as a performer. And of course, I get meta like I do. And I realized, well, I also have to be a really good example of me. Because, I mean, really, you may never have experienced... New people, you're, you're somebody down there, you're new. You've only met one me so far. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? Just one of you, right? Oh. <laughs> On his way to being a heckler already, there is only one of me. You're very, very lucky. But here's the thing. <laughs> 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 
but two of me would fit in the pants. The point is, with your experience of me, I need to be a good ambassador of what I'm doing as a performer tonight, even though I'm not doing all those things that you associate with clowns or anything else. I have to be a good me. And I realize that's what this place is. It's a place to practice being a good ambassador of you here at the open stage. So please get out here and be brave, be bold, and show us who you are. Yeah. Yeah.